What's going on, y'all? This is going to be a true live video. I'm just sitting down here at the boat yard. Uh, yesterday, my son and I, uh, 14 years old, found my old boat, uh, John boat down here in the boat yard, and we spent like all day pressure washing that thing, blowing out the leaves. It's been sitting for five years. The old boat called Swamp Taxi, if you remember that. Back in the, back in the day, we used to do a lot of stuff with that boat. But uh, it was just a great time with my son, and it just reminded me, to live each day and just to have a great time but i want to do a, a quick live video today we got this eclipse coming and uh a no fear whatsoever of what's going on but b i want to tell y'all something this channel right here is really really helpful and important to so many people hundreds of thousands of people i know there's 1.1 million subscribers but on a general basis a couple hundred thousand tune into every video what i think is so special about this and the reason I want to do a quick live video today is because there's not a lot of people like us that think the way we do and are alert and in tune. And you really don't meet anybody on the street that just has the same thoughts and opinions that uh, that we do, right? My boys, it's funny with these teenagers now, they call them NPCs, non-playable characters, where you meet somebody in life and you, uh, you say something to them and they don't have any kind of reaction. And you're like, is this a video game? I mean, are you reacting whatsoever? <laughs> you're not even there. And they laugh, at it, but the more I look at it and the more cities we've walked around with our boys and places where people just don't react and they feel, they look dead inside. They look like zombies. It's like they're hollow and they're just kind of following orders and they're just kind of following like no thought pattern whatsoever that is really really interesting to me because i wake up every single day and i pray and i try to get right with the lord and i cover myself i cover my family and going into this eclipse there is no fear and a uh really really doubt jesus is coming back today y'all because he said nobody's gonna know the day so really unlikely that it's gonna be today even though we all hope for that but uh moving forward yes i do believe that this is a massive sign with these eclipses being seven years apart and jesus said you're gonna have the sign of jonah and we've all if people who've looked into that you all understand that this goes a whole lot deeper but what i wanted to tell y'all today is um this is a an eclipse that yeah absolutely put your little goggles on and, and like God's wonder and all that kind of stuff, but really be praying because what I believe is there's going to be a shift. And when God, if this is a warning, if it is a warning, then the judgment comes pretty soon after the warning. Could be a couple weeks, could be a couple months, but today is the warning. And I do believe the rules will change worldwide after today. And it's going to lead toward the escalation of the things we're going to be able to see. Um, and there's a whole lot to, to deal with that. But basically y'all just be alert be in tune and i'm gonna treat this just like a live video y'all i mean I'm, I'm gonna delete this probably by noon because this is just for whoever is watching this right now i appreciate all 1140 y'all that are on here but we need to be praying today because the rules will change and tomorrow um it doesn't mean anything's gonna happen whatsoever it may be a peaceful day i'm living each day we had a crawfish boil I went out fishing yesterday. I'm living. I'm not sitting at home worrying. A couple people um, comment sometimes about, you know, you're promoting fear or whatever. I'm thinking, who's who's afraid? My, I have the seal of Christ on my forehead. I have absolute guarantee that my name is in the book of life, as I hope y'all do as well. And there's zero fear in that. We have to be alert, though, for our family. And men, y'all have to be alert because you're leading your families. You're leading your wives. You're leading your kids. They're looking to you, Dad, to not be a simpleton, locked on the TV, or just completely absent and depressed in the back bedroom. And I know, guys, I know I have friends like this, y'all. They have completely fallen asleep. And the Bible warns about falling asleep. Do not fall asleep. This is like the Garden of Gethsemane, y'all. I mean, if all times you want to be awake, you want to be alert, you want to be focused, this is the time to be alert and focused. So please stay strong. Please stay awake. Please work extra hard. You've got the energy. Yes, the old saying, you can sleep when you're dead. If you're in Christ, you're never dead. The moment you leave this body, you are with him. We don't die. Push hard. Finish strong. Finish the face, y'all. This is not, we're not clocking time here. <laughs> and no matter what happens, no matter what kind of evils, I don't care if they drop chemical weapons on us next week. Push till the very end, okay? Fight this fight. Lead your families. Lead the people around you. If you're on this channel, you're probably a leader. There's not a whole lot of followers on this letter. We have a lot of chiefs on this channel who are subscribed. We don't have a whole lot of Indians. And uh, we have leaders. We have people of influence. 
And I've never dreamed of the amount of people I would meet or get phone calls from that are really, really powerful people. And uh, it's just really pivotal that we finish strong. That's all I want to say. Just five quick minutes. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave this up. Be praying during this eclipse. Um, because if it is a warning, we want to be uh, sure that we're in prayer. The rules are going to change, y'all. And you will see what I'm talking about here for the remainder of the year. The rules are going to change. And this is the sign right here. God bless y'all. And just want to put that out there this morning. Be good. I'll read through these comments later, by the way, and uh, try to respond to as many as I can. Y'all be good.